तो हेलो वेलकम आज हम देखेंगे कि एनपीटीएल का कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स एंड इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल का वीक नाइन असाइनमेंट नंबर नाइन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ ए राउटिंग टेबल इन आईपी राउटिंग सो आईपी राउटिंग में राउटिंग टेबल का क्या पर्पस होता है सो so, एक्चुअली इसका ऑप्शन मतलब इसका आंसर हो जाएगा ऑप्शन नंबर सी टू स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द बेस्ट पास टू रीच द डेस्टिनेशन नेटवर्क सो इसका एक्सप्लेनेस नहीं होगा कि द पर्पस ऑफ ए राउटिंग टेबल इन आईपी राउटिंग इज टू स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द बेस्ट पास टू रीच द डेस्टिनेशन नेटवर्क सो द राउटिंग टेबल इज यूज टू डिटरमाइन द मोस्ट इफिशियंट वे टू राउट डाटा पैकेट टू देयर डेस्टिनेशन एक्स नेटवर्क इट स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वेरियस नेटवर्क ऑन द इंटरनेट देयर आई पी एड्रेसेस सब नेटवर्क एंड गेट वेज Each route in the table has an associated metric that indicates the quality of that route. When a data packet needs to be sent, the router uses the routing table to determine the best path and forwards the packet accordingly. Okay, so its answer will be option number C. To store information about the best path to reach destination networks. Yes. कंट्रोल प्लेन सो इसका एक्सप्लेन नहीं हो जाएगा कि रोल ऑफ ए फॉरवर्डिंग प्लान इन एन एस डी एन आर्किटेक्चर इज टू फॉरवर्ड डाटा पैकेट बेस्ड ऑन इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम द कंट्रोल प्लान द फॉरवर्डिंग प्लान इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मूविंग डाटा पैकेट थ्रो द नेटवर्क एंड इट रिसीव इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन वेयर टू फॉरवर्ड दिस पैकेट फ्रॉम द कंट्रोल प्लान विच मेक्स डिसीजन ऑन हाउ टू फॉरवर्ड दे बेस्ड ऑन पॉलिसी डिफाइंड इन द एस डी एन कंट्रोलर द फॉरवर्डिंग प्लान Thus, acts as an intermediary between the control plane and the data plane, allowing the network to function efficiently and effectively. So, this answer will be option number D. That is, to forward data packets based on instructions from the control plane. Okay. Question number three. What is the primary benefit of using SDN in a network? So primary benefit क्या है? इसका हो जाएगा. That is option number C. Simplified network management and auto automation. So इसका explanation नहीं होगा. देखो software defined networking that is the SDN of course several benefits. First benefit क्या है? जो primary benefit पूछा था. So firstly SDN simplifies network management by decoupling. the control plane and the data plane allowing for centralized control and programmability okay programmability on on the network so this simplification leads to improved network performance flexibility and automation so the primary benefit ho gaya that is simplified network management and automation second benefit kya hai कि एसडीएन एनहांस नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी बाय प्रोवाइडिंग बेटर कंट्रोल ओवर सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज एंड एनेबलिंग इफिशिएंट डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी मैकेनिज्म्स ये सेकंड हो गया नेटवर्क मतलब नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी इंप्रूवमेंट्स थर्ड क्या है कि एसडीएन इंप्रूव्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस दैट इज क्यूओएस ओके क्यूओएस सो ये थर्ड बेनिफिट है क्यूओएस फॉर वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस सच एज वायरलेस सेंसर नेटवर्क दैट इज डब्ल्यूएसएन एंड इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स आईओटी By enabling tasks like routing, monitoring, load balancing, and tracking flow measurements. So, additionally, SDN allows for resource management and network virtualization, enabling efficient utilization of physical network infrastructure. So, overallly, SDN offers faster, more secure, and reliable network management, improved QoS, and enhanced network security. सो so, यहाँ पे फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड बेनिफिट है तो फर्स्ट पूछा था तो फर्स्ट uh, क्या हो जाएगा सिंप्लीफाइड नेटवर्क मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑटोनोमेशन दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी ओके अगर सेकंड बेनिफिट पूछेगा 
तो इम्प्रूव नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी अगर थर्ड बेनिफिट पूछेगा तो एनहेंस क्यू ओ एस दैट इज क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस तो हो जाएगा ऑप्शन नंबर सी यस तो ऑप्शन नंबर मतलब क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर Which HDN protocol is used to communicate between the HDN controller and the network devices to program forwarding behavior? Okay, so which protocol is used? So here, what protocol will be used? Here, what protocol will be used? Is open flow. Okay, option number B, open flow. Okay, so explanation will be that open flow. is the protocol commonly used in hdn networks to set up communication between controllers and switches it is an open interface for configuring, configuring forwarding tables of network switches and route routers as for the desired path of network packets derived and decided on the okay decided on by the hdn controller so is answer ho jayega That is the open flow. Okay, option number B. Yes. Then question number five. What is the purpose of a default routes in a routing table? Default route क्या है in routing table? उसका purpose क्या होगा? Okay. उसका purpose ही होगा to provide a route for packets with unknown destination address. So इसका explanation नहीं हो जाएगा कि a default route is the route that takes effect When no other route is available for an IP IP destination address, so if a packet is received on a routing device, the device first checks to see if the IP destination address is on one of the devices, that is the local subnets. So its answer will be option number B. That is to provide a route for packets with unknown destination addresses. Option number B. Question number six: How does HDN differ from traditional networking in terms of network configuration and management? Okay, so its answer will be option number A. Okay, so option number A is for this is for you. The HDN uses centralized control and programmability, while traditional network uses distributed control and manual configuration. So HDN software defined networking differs from traditional networking in terms of network configuration and management in that hdn uses centralized control and programmability while traditional network uses distributed control and manual configuration okay so this list can answer option number a question number 7 which routing algorithm is commonly used in the hdn to compute optimal paths for data packets So, which routing algorithm is commonly used in HDN to compute optimal paths for data packets? That is Dijkstra algorithm. Okay, Dijkstra algorithm. Option number A. So, which is the option number A? Hoga? Ki Dijkstra algorithm is commonly used in HDN software-defined networking to compute optimal paths for data packets. It is particularly well suited for this task because it efficiently calculates. The shortest paths from a source to nodes, okay, from a source node to all the other nodes in a network. Okay. So this algorithm helps in determining the optimal forwarding paths within the HDN architecture, where the centralized controller makes decisions about packet forwarding based on the network condition and policies. Okay. So this answer is the answer. Answer number eight. Question number eight. How does HDN facilitate network virtualization? Okay. So, its answer will be option number C. That is by enabling the creation of virtual networks that operate independently from the physical network infrastructure. So, its explanation will be that HDN facilitates the network virtualization primarily by enabling the creation of virtual networks that operate independently. From the physical network infrastructure, with HDN, virtual networks can be created, managed, and customized to suit specific requirements without direct dependence. Okay, direct dependence. Okay, on the underlying physical infrastructure. 
so this allows to okay this allows for greater flexibility scalability and efficiency in network management and resource allocation so this can answer was option number c by enabling the creation of virtual networks that operate independently from the physical network infrastructure. Question 9. What role does the southbound API play in SDN architecture? So, is the answer was option number A that is, it enables communication between the SDN controller and network devices. So explanation is that the southbound API, that is the application programming interface in SDN architecture, plays a crucial role in enabling communication between the SDN controller and networking devices. So it is allows the SDN controller to programmatically control the behavior of network devices such as switches and routers by sending instructions to them. So this communication typically occurs using protocol like OpenFlow, which is widely adopted standard for southbound communication in SDN. So it's the answer was option number A. It enables communication between the SDN controller and networking devices. Question number 10. How does SDN improve network scalability compared to traditional network? So is the answer was option number A, that is by enabling dynamic allocation of resources based on demand. This explanation is that SDN improves network scalability compared to traditional networking, primarily by enabling the dynamic allocation of resources based on demand. So with respect to SDN, network administrators can programmatically allocate and reallocate the network resources in real time, allowing the network to adopt to change okay traffic patterns and requirements more efficiently so this dynamic resource allocation helps to scale the network infrastructure effectively while minimizing over provisioning and on and kya hai? Uh, the realizing of the resources okay so this can answer was like option number by enabling the dynamic allocation of resources based on demand. So, 10 questions completed. So, Mila, let's think about question number one. Ka. Question number one, ka C, yes. Question number two, ka D. Hmm. Question number three, C. Question number three, ka C. Question number four, D. Question number 5, B. Question number 6, A. Question number 7, A. Question number 8, Question number 8, C. Question number 9, A. Question number 10, A. Yes. Submit. So, thank you.